Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I got some great news for the Godot Game Engine, and that is they have a new Platinum level sponsor. I'll get into exactly what Platinum means in a second, but you should know Godot is entirely crowdfunded. Every time they get more money, it means one step closer to hiring another developer, getting better documentation, faster feature rollout, you name it. So the more funding, the better Godot gets in theory, and they've been managing to hire a couple of full-time developers in the last year because their funding increased. So the Platinum support is going to get us much closer to that kind of a milestone. As I said, I will cover what Platinum means in just a second. First, we are here on the Godot website um, announcement page. Uh, they're talking about this new merger, or not merger, sorry, uh, sponsorship. And the sponsor is Heroic Labs. Um, so they're going to be sponsoring the development of Godot going forward in a financial way. And they're also going to be integrating their own product, as we will see in just a second. Don't worry, it'll probably be integrated as like an add-on or something. This isn't going to change uh, Godot underlying. It's, it's not going to have a huge influence in that regard. So what exactly is this? Well, let's go through a little bit of the uh, press release here. There's, there's a lot of kind of overview from the uh, the guy behind it, the co-founder, Mo. Uh, but what we really are kind of interested in is down here. Today, open source game developer tools do a similar job. They help everyone from indie game developers to AAA studios to focus on creating the best game rather than having to rebuild a physics engine, shift graphic blobs manually in memory, or hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, develop reliable backend infrastructure. Don't worry, we'll cover exactly what Nakama is all about. Coincidentally, the word Nakama, I think is Japanese for friend. Um, if you had a better translation, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Anyways, that's why we created Nakama and made it open source. We wanted game developers to have access to the same high quality back end functionality that's available to developers working in other industries. Crucially, we wanted to make sure that anyone could build their game with Nakama, whether they are learning in the bedroom, bootstrapping as an indie dev, or trying something new at a big studio. Um, and we had a kind of what's next kind of category. So they already provide back ends for pro, um, game engines such as Unity, Unreal Engine, Swift, Android, and so on. They're now working on their integration with Godot Engine. We'll post an update once it's available. The common Godot will give a whole new generation of game developers the opportunity to build resilient, beautiful, and immersive gameplay experiences. So basically, they're going to be providing a back end uh, of, to the Godot, probably a module or add-on or plug-in kind of thing that will enable you to use their network infrastructure directly from Godot. And really, there's nothing like this right now for Godot in general, so that's definitely a good move. Now, we're going to get a little bit back to uh, what Nakama is all about, but it's nice to see that Heroic Labs is coming board as a Platinum sponsor. In terms of what exactly is a Platinum sponsor, well, we can find over here there's a list of donors on um, the GitHub page that shows the various different tiers people donate at. And you can see Platinum sponsors, there are only two, Engine Coin and Heroic Labs now. Um, so it is a big deal to be at this tier level. So what exactly is that tier level? Well, if you head on over to the Patreon page, you will find they have... Uh, you know, entry level tiers, we go all the way up to, we got the, the mini sponsor, the gold sponsor, and then the platinum sponsor. And the platinum sponsor, as you can see right here, gets you your company logo on our website, editor credits, as well as editor splash screen. Um, and it is for $1,500 US or more per month. So that is pretty close to at least a half a developer per month in this support. So in, in addition to them obviously going to be writing the backend code to integrate with their products, they're also giving $1,500 or more each month to Godot. So one step closer to hiring one more developer. So it's a great move and uh, nice to see that support coming along. So let's head on over and find out a little bit more about Nakama as soon as you start responding. So here we go. So obviously Heroic Labs make Nakama. Nakama is an open source real-time server for apps and games. Um, in terms of the people that use it, you'll recognize some of these, these names such as uh, Zynga, Disney, Glue, uh, Paradox, uh, Madhead Games, and so on. So it is definitely a work-tested solution out there. And they've got a good graphic. Hopefully I can find it right away. Okay, here we go. So these are the top level features at a glance. This is the stuff that they provide in their server implementations. So we got friends and groups. Um, so built-in social graph for friends and groups, add social login, build your own community of engaged users, in-app chatting, real-time multiplayer, turn-based multiplayer, many client libraries, uh, built for any cloud, local development, and it's under the, the open source portions of this are under the Apache license, which is actually a fairly liberal license. So um, most of what you would need for modern day online multiplayer is there. Now, don't get me wrong. They're, they're not alone in this space. This is what uh, Epic Games or Unreal Engine, their online services, they're trying to provide this kind of stuff as well. Unity in partnership with um, 
go Google more and more are kind of offering this stuff as well. And then there's a handful of companies out there that provide this stuff as well. And one of the downsides is there's some of these guys that have actually gone straight out of business, which is where uh, Nakama actually kind of has a bit of a head up because it is available. I'll come back to that one in a second. It is available open source. So if you want to host and run your own servers, you can. Um, you also have access 100% of your own data. So if they go out of business, God forbid, and you need to pull your data back, you can grab it, you can run it on your own hosted servers and so on. Or you can basically let them run the entire thing themselves. Now this is where their managed cloud services come in. And this is frankly where they make their money. And you'll see um, they provide backups, automatic scaling, operation teams. So as your game gets more popular and so on, they'll scale it out for you. They take care of things such as GDPR, which is the privacy policies from the EU. They make sure that the data is in compliance and so on. They've got um, front end systems across various different areas around the world deployed on Google Cloud's technology in North America and Europe. South Asia is coming as well. Uh, Southeast Asia, sorry. Um, plus, again, the key part is your application data belongs to you. Um, you can export it backups for your own analysis and so on. And if you had to, if they go out of business, you can use the open source implementation yourself and run it yourself. Now we're going to get into the pricing and there's going to be a little bit of sticker shock here for, for many of you, to be honest. And I actually got to agree their pricing, it, it's got a steep jump. So you got the open source version. You want to bring it down. You run it yourself. You can actually host this in Docker or on like Amazon's EC2 or so on, or you can run it on your own server. Um, and you get access to things like the social API, game API, server side code, run on any cloud provider you want, and it's under an Apache 2 license. As we saw right there, that was the source code from GitHub we were looking at just a second ago. And then we've got where they run it for you. It starts at $600 a month. In that case, they've got dedicated servers, and they're basically doing your web hosting for you. You get unlimited amounts of uh, bandwidth. It automatically backs up for you. It scales out as you need it. Uh, load balancing built in and so on. Now you'll notice that this one is um, $600 starting from, and then we've got custom level where you can negotiate things with them directly. So there are uh, definitely a price jump from the do it yourself to let them do it for you. And then of course, if you've got a super big game and you want to negotiate things, you need a service level agreements and uptime guarantees and stuff like that. So if you're running a AAA title and you need to have AAA level support on the network, you can negotiate that with them custom. I would love to see a sub tier, something like here, that's a little bit cheaper, that maybe isn't dedicated servers, might be shared hosting, or might be tiered or limited bandwidth or something at a smaller amount. Because you basically, they're jumping straight from your game, uh, you're on your own, run it yourself, to we'll run it for you at 600 bucks a month. And that's going to, I think they're just losing potentially an indie dev marketplace that's in between. But hey, that's that's not either here or there. Then this is actually still relevant to even if you get sticker shock from there. If you're doing a small independent indie game, you can provide your own hosting. You can do your own hop time. You can do your own load balancing and everything else yourself, and work with it for free. I just think they personally are missing out on an opportunity to do you know some value add on top somewhere in between. But hey, that's just my opinion. I would love to hear what yours is there as well. Anyways, so you see here you've got things like live ops dashboard, so you can actually see what's going on with your game. Um, yeah, and you got some details here on, uh, you know, how to develop and deploy for it. You got full documentation up here. Um, so if you want to get into how to implement it, hopefully we will see the Godot stuff show up later. But you can see here, they've got things here for already for Unreal Engine, Cocos 2D, C++, Swift, Java, JavaScript, .NET, and Unity, and so on. So again, Godot is coming soon. But you see like the various different processes for things like authenticating, storing things, social, gameplay code, for leaderboards, tournaments, matchmaking, real-time multiplayer, and so on. So they provide all the networking back the stuff for you and an interface in which to do it. And at some point in the future, we are going to see a um, client for the Godot system being added. So it's going to make implementing networking much, much easier at this scale for many people. And if you've got a hit on your hands, you can scale up your back end. Um, just be aware that there is a price tag attached for that. And I've got no faults or problems with companies making money online. I just think that they are missing a demographic, I guess you could say. So anyways, first off, even regardless of everything they do, the fact of Nakama, like the product or not, I do definitely find it interesting. I do like the fact that they've got an open source implementation and that you own your data. So you are not tethered to them because unfortunately I have seen a lot of these kind of companies go under and then you're scrambling for a new backend for your game or you have to retire your game. So that is a huge plus with what they've got there. But regardless to everything about Nakama itself, um, 
it's awesome to see Heroic Labs just on a financial level supporting Godot. And it's nice to see Godot continue to grow and get more and more um, focus in, in the world. So this is a, a win, win, and win. It's a win for the um, Godot. Hopefully, it's ultimately a win for Heroic Labs and Nakama. Um, and definitely, it's a win for uh, Godot developers who should see you know faster, better development on the Godot engine. And of course, we now have a new network backend option coming at some point in the future. All right, so that's it. That is the news. Uh, Heroic Labs is now supporting Godot development. Let me know what you think of it all down below. Also, let me know what you think about that pricing tier. Do you think they're missing an opportunity there? Or do you think it's very reasonable to go from do-it-yourself to kind of a, a full suite package? Let me know that in the comments down below as well. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.